welcome back to techno in youtube channel so nvidia's dlss is here and rtx for rtx 30 40 series we know dlss 3.0 is for 40 series only specific and now nvidia has revealed how many applications and we thinks games uses rtx technology like dlss and stuff and it's over 390 games and applications which are supported though some supports dlss 1.0 some supports dlss 2.0 some supports 3.0 so it's all over the place but at the least 300 390 games and application supports it which is okay number when compared to amd's implementation of fsr because amd's implementation was pretty high when compared to dlss technology as according to amd in the first year it had 134 games supported for fsr while it took 180 games it took like 3.4 years for nvidia to support 180 games or so so adaptation rate of an amd's amd's fsr technology is higher two times more faster than nvidia's offering though it might be the case because right now it supports 216 games and 97 available games are available and will come come later down the line to support fsr 2.0 and it is because AMD's implementation is of open source and it supports all range of GPUs from Intel's, NVIDIA's and AMD's unlike NVIDIA's implementation which only requires specific GPUs to work which is troubling and do not like con consoles which is Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5 also supports AMD's also had AMD hardware because AMD is the only company which makes CPUs and GPUs so they can optimize it so fsr implementation has been widely adopted compared to dlss we can see it moving on when you uh, when i made a video regarding amd's driver issue which causing the pc to go into boot loop but now nvidia also has that issue the nvidia's hotfix not a hotfix but M nvidia's driver doesn't cause your pc to go into boot loop or something like that but it increases your CPU utilization by 10 to 15 percent, which is annoying as it increases like NVIDIA's container, like it increases by existing when you quit the existing game by 10 to 15 percent, and it is in the 531.18 driver. And yeah, it is it is annoying. It caused you to some container service which not able to see that the game has been closed, and it increases the cpu utilization by 10 to 15 percent which is annoying and it's caused by the telemetry system which it's some um, system which amd which nvidia uses in the background and was not able to get the container to quit so yeah it's annoying but it's just 10 to 15 and it's not pc breaking as of now but N nvidia has implemented a hotfix for it so you can download that hotfix and install it after you if you have this issue because most of the nvidia systems doesn't have this issue at all only a selected few has it and there's an hotfix available which is 13.531.26 which is an hotfix to this issue so if you have have this issue just download it from nvidia's side and yeah speaking of nvidia we know like it it has gone mad because they unlaunched that rtx 40 80 12 gb but now they are planning to launch 3060 yeah you heard it right like they are going back and relaunching rtx 3060 with a different configuration with jdria 6x RAM and stuff which is annoying because you have four different gpus to choose from as of now because rtx 3060 was launched with 8 gb ram 8 gb jdria 6 then it's 12 gb jdria 6x and then there's so many variants you need to choose from which is annoying to see and it comes with rtx 360 with 8 gb of gdda 6x memory and it is annoying it is based on a ga 104 gpu die which is like mobile 3080 3070 ti gpus so they are it is basically a highly bent gpu and it comes from t4c fantasy which which keeps track of the tech power up database which is in charge of tech power database so they have a pretty nice track record but it is annoying to see like there will be four rtx 3060 gpus however they just should launch 4060 and stuff like that and we know like rtx 4060 is going to be bad because it is similar to rtx 3070 so don't know what nvidia is doing 
later down the line we have news regarding fsr 3.0 and possibility fsr 3.0 will be launching very soon or maybe we can get a teaser for it because we only got a teaser when the Ryzen, when radeon 7900 series was launched and they just give us a teaser for it and not the complete technology but now they might give us an idea of what fsr 3.0 is capable of and it indeed uses frame generation but do not it doesn't use tensor cores or stuff like that it doesn't need dedicated cores so it can work on older gpus also and it gives you two times frames fps improvements and it's coming in 2023 so basically this should give us something and fsr 3.0 introduces frame generation which is a nice thing to see so you will get high frames with frame generation Along with it, they are planning to reveal this tech in game developer conference which is set from March 20 to 2024, March 20 to March 24, 2023 in San Francisco. And here you can see it says like, in this session we will include us an exciting sneak peek of new FS Fidelity FX technology that will be awesome. So it will be F Fidelity FX Super Resolution 3 because they also unveiled Hyper RX, which is one time overclocking for everything. Your GPU, uh, it is basically anti chill and stuff like that. But it is also they showed how it works, so it's not that it might, it should be FSR 3.0. So, uh, le if it is, I will put you, I will update you regarding it and the technology which they will be showing it. So, yeah, subscribe to the channel. What do you think about this news? Sound of your thoughts in the comment section below. Like, share, and subscribe. And I will meet you in the next one. Peace out.